This video is sponsored by NVIDIA GeForce RTX. And welcome back to another exciting full build episode. Today's build is going to be slightly different from what you're used to seeing us do here on the channel. And that's because today we're going to make a different kind of weapon. We've teamed up with NVIDIA to celebrate the launch of their new game changing graphics card, the RTX 3080 Ti. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti delivers the ultra performance that gamers crave. Now the TI in the RTX 3080 Ti title stands for Titanium. So what NVIDIA has asked us to do is to create a completely titanium skin for this graphics card to make it stand out from all others. This graphics card will then be sent to the GeForce Garage builders who are going to make an amazing custom computer case that somebody can win. To get this build started, we first have to take apart the existing graphics card and see what parts we have to duplicate in titanium. for the 3080 Ti it's pretty straightforward just a few screws a couple of parts and it comes right off so that's where I think we'll start by making that plate first in titanium before we can actually start machining the part we first have to finalize the design and control the toolpath to tell the milling machine exactly what we want to do. First we isolate each individual part, pull them out, make sure they're correct, and then we'll put them all back together like a puzzle and have it start machining. One of the difficulties in machining titanium is that you have to use carbide cutters. Carbide is stronger, yet also more brittle. So you have to make sure you control your speeds when machining or you're going to break a tooth on your cutter and it could possibly ruin your project at any point no matter how far along you are. Alright we have the titanium cover plate 
back from the machine shop and it looks fantastic. What Kevin did was leave us little tabs around the perimeter that we'll then be able to cut and pull the whole plate out. So the next step is to take it off the mounting bracket that he made, get the card cut out, and then start the final detail. Taking apart the top plate was easy breezy. I gotta admit, taking apart the main frame is a little intimidating. One false move and I could render this amazing piece of machinery useless. So while Matt and Kevin are figuring out the machining process of the main frame of the card, I had a thought. This is a blacksmith shop. We haven't showed you guys any forging. This card is actually going to be integrated into a special build at the G-Force Garage. Now we're not sending this card back in any regular cardboard box. This is going in something very special. So what we came up with is we're going to make this forged and fabricated chest. Now, NVIDIA is known for making the best graphics cards in the industry when it comes to PC gaming, video editing, anything like that. And any real PC gamer knows that the best loot is always found in a treasure chest. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a Damascus treasure chest. So a lot of this chest is forged as well as fabricated. Now, the difference between forging and fabrication is, fabricating is a lot of cutting, bending, and welding metal together. Forging is just that. You're actually changing the material through the heat process and the forging of the hammer. So the reason I say that this takes forging and fabrication is we are combining both elements to create this amazing treasure chest.
So what we're doing is we're taking angle iron and we're basically bending it in what's called the hard way. The hard way is bending it the way it doesn't want to bend. So Ilya will actually put it in the forge, take it to one of our custom anvils, and he'll actually create the radius that we need for the top of the chest. So with our really sleek, sharp corners, the frame of this treasure chest, I wanted to make some handles that were really organic and stood out. now forged, it's time to make some hinges. Before we can etch our Damascus panels that will reveal the beautiful pattern underneath, we first have to grind up all the scale and get rid of any of the peaks and valleys that are on each panel. With the Damascus panels now ground smooth, it's time to etch them in some ferric chloride. Ferric chloride will etch each metal that's stacked in the Damascus billet differently, leaving us with a beautifully contrasting pattern. Now as you may know, ferric chloride is more often than not used to make custom circuit boards in things like computers or graphics cards.
Now that all the pieces exist, our Damascus is etched and formed, it's now time to do the final assembly of our treasure chest. You may notice that we've drilled evenly spaced holes all around the frame, and that's because we're going to rivet all of these panels to the frame of our chest. However, we first want to tack weld each panel in place to make sure they don't shift on us while we're riveting. With the base of the chest now complete, it needs one final thing, the centerpiece. And what better than to have the NVIDIA logo on the center of our chest made out of titanium. So now let's go back to the machine shop. Working with titanium always presents some unique challenges, and this build was no different. And now that all of our pieces for both builds now exist, it's time to start putting it all together. Well, this build certainly had a new set of challenges and it gave us an excuse for us all to make our very first Damascus chest. Don't forget to check out the rest of this titanium PC build over on the NVIDIA GeForce channel. And to get more info on the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, head on over to geforce.com. And thanks for watching this special titanium build. If you enjoyed us making something out of the norm as much as we did, be sure to like the video and tell us in the comments below what build you'd like to see this team build next. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That works.